This video is brought to you by Multizone, where you can get your comics, board games, and card games all in one place. Visit multizone.ca and enter Easterling as a promo code to save 10% on your next order. Today I'm painting one of the heroes from Project Elite and his name is Volker. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're having a great day. I know I am because you're watching my video. So Volker is primed with Army Painter's Army Green because most of his armor was green. So this made a nice base paint already ready to go. So we're going to start off with Soldier Green, which is a unique color from the Zombie Side Invader paint set. And this is going to be a dry brush on his armor. Now, for some reason, it doesn't show up too well on the camera, but it does give it a brighter uh, hue on the like the raised areas of this guy's armor. So when later on when we do the wash, it comes out really nice. Next color we're moving on is a Necromancer Cloak. This is from the Zombie Side Black Plague paint set, but it is also equivalent to the regular War Paint Necromancer Cloak. So you can use either one if you don't have the paint set. You can use the regular one. Uh, this is for like the like pants or Under Armour stuff uh, that he has on, and it's like for some of the little uh, recesses that it's underneath the green armor. So when the wash comes in, it's actually going to be really nice to make it really darker in those spots. Now his, uh, he's got some parts of the gun that were gray is like this as well. And so what's different with these minifigures in this game is that you don't have a, fr a real picture or artwork to really work with. It has parts of the, 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 the figure, but you pretty much can use your imagination on what you want to put colors where. So sometimes you just look at the model and say, oh, I'm inspired by putting some there and some here. So this is a kind of an interesting miniature to, to work with because that's you only saw like the upper part of his body. And I saw a bit of the cape. Uh, which I will do later on. Now I'm coming back again to this corpse pail. I use this a lot on my on my uh, miniatures because it's great for face painting. And I do the same thing for his hair because then later on I'm going to be using a yellow and it's always easier to put it on a lighter color. Uh, I had to put on two um, coats of this. It was very watered down, which is okay. Some people tell me that's a lot better to do multiple layers when it's watered down so then you keep the details a lot better. And I do agree with that. If sometimes it's too watered down and it doesn't work as well. Now I'm going to be using a uh, pale flesh, which is Zombie Sides Green Horde paint, but this is equivalent to Mutant Hue, which is a regular war paint. And I want to do this on this cape of his because he had like this grungy looking purplish brown uh, cape on. So I figured let's try this pale flesh. And when I do the, f the, the, the flesh wash later, I actually put it on here too, uh, just so that it gets that brownish uh, hue and I didn't want it to be too brown. Anyways, I would like to thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out multizone.ca where you can use Easterling as a promo code to save 10% on your next order. All right, so we're moving on to Combat Gold from Zombie Side Invader paint set, or you can use the War Paints Metallics uh, Bright Gold. Um, it's the same color, so it's just because I have this one and it was easier to access for this. So this guy had uh, like some golden features to him on the gun and on some of his armor and that. So I said, you know what? I normally I would have just went with like a, a yellow maybe on this, like a like a dirty yellow and then just giving it a highlight. But I, I think I said, you know what, let's give this guy a little bit of shine. Uh, he'll he'll show up more on the table. He'll pop a bit more when he's played. And uh, again, it's you don't see much of the artwork for this guy. So you pretty much just say, well where would this combat gold look good on him? And so that's what I did with this paint. Well, this next color fits well. It's some moon dust, and this is for his hair. And it's funny in the artwork; he has no beard, 
But on the minifigure, he has a beard and a mustache. So I put it on there as well. Why not, right? It matches his hair color. Now we're going to move on to my shader of choice for this uh, board game, which is Military Shader. And it has a nice little green hue, but a very dark color as well. I find it looks really nice on the green armor. It gets into the recesses. I put it on the gold as well. Uh, it, it, it just really shades it nicely. And then I'm going to be doing some flesh wash. And this is going on his face, on his hair. And like I mentioned a while ago, on that cape of his. And look at that. It just turns out so nice. When it's all dried up, it looks amazing. So there you go. Cover, or sorry, Voker, I don't know why I said Cover. Voker is painted up and ready to hit the table and fight those aliens. I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day and get your miniatures to the table.